So I got COVID and recovered, and right after that, I got the flu. So what did I do? I shopped. Having been sick twice a month as the weather changes, I panicked, okay? I just kept ordering winter clothes online. My rationalization is that maybe winter isn't so scary if I actually know how to dress for it. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything I got in preparation for this winter. This is not like the bullshit winter I got last year in Shenzhen. This is serious Canadian winter, so brace yourself. The first thing I got was this long black puffer jacket for maximum coverage. I used to wear my Canada Goose jacket almost exclusively every winter, and I got a bit tired of it. So this year, I finally decided to get a jacket that's not Canada Goose. This one is from Aritzia, the Canadian Girl starter pack. I do like the fact that there's no logo or anything on it. It's very clean and simple. This jacket contains 100% responsibly sourced goose down, and it's made of a water repellent fabric, so it's perfect for snowy days. It is also said that it can withstand up to minus 30 degrees. Let's see if it actually does that. Yes, I have taken my black and white obsession to the next level. Is it ridiculous that I got the exact same jacket in white? Or are you even surprised at all? Given the fact that winter is like 8 months long here in Toronto, I think I could use one other puffer jacket to change things up a bit. Also, two puffer jackets from Marizia are still cheaper than one jacket from Canada Goose. Just saying. You know, don't you wish you could just wear your duvet sometimes? Well, this is what it feels like to wear a duvet. It even looks like a duvet. Now I can finally get out of bed. Next up is this white faux fur coat. Oh my god, so soft. I got it secondhand on the rear wheel a couple months ago actually, and I've been waiting to show you guys. This coat is from Nina Bing. It came with this little belt thingy, little string. I honestly don't use it because I think it looks weird. I used to have a coat that looked kind of similar, but I left it in Shenzhen because it didn't keep me warm at all. But this one, this one is actually warm. I feel so cozy wearing it. It's like wearing a bathrobe, but outside. It's also why I don't use that belt thingy, because it will quite literally look like I'm wearing a bathrobe. Oh, hello! If you haven't noticed a theme going on, I'm really into white this winter. This white wool coat was sent to me by Fabrique. It's designed by Ukrainian designer Elena Burenina. Her work has been showcased in Ukrainian Fashion Week, Vienna Fashion Week, and most recently, New York Fashion Week. I fell in love with this coat as soon as I laid my eyes on it. I know I can't wear it when it gets to minus 20 or minus 30 degrees, but I can still wear it in December, the only winter month that I get to be stylish. So just let me have it. I love the fact that it has a classic silhouette, but then the fringe detail at the hem makes it so unique. Didn't I say my style is dramatic elegant? This is the quintessential dramatic elegant piece. It's like, yes, I'm elegant, but with a dramatic twist. Anyways, I am obsessed. It's also made of 90.7% wool and 9.3% cashmere, so even though it may look thin, it can still keep you quite warm while looking absolutely chic. I have another piece from Fabrique. This sweater is designed by Naira Kachatrian. Naira is an Armenian designer specialized in knitwear. She has designed for Armani, Max Mara, Dior, Stella McCartney, and Joe Sander. This sweater is made of 100% wool. It's really soft and comfy. It's also an oversized fit, so you can layer clothes underneath and still have room to move. I like that the geometric pattern adds visual interest, but it's still versatile enough to go with all my other clothes. Also, with Christmas and the New Year coming up, I figured I would need something festive, and I feel like this sweater would be perfect for these occasions. It's like, even my Christmas sweater is black and white. Fabrique works with talented designers from all over the world to create these beautiful limited edition designs and offer them at only one third of what it would cost if you buy them in these designers' own lines or at the luxury brands they typically design for. They even offer petite sizing for smaller from Asian figures. If you would like to see more of Fabrique's collection, you could check out their WeChat store. I'm pretty sure you'll find something unique that will elevate your wardrobe. Alright, next up is this black cashmere cardigan. It's so black, you can't even see it. If it looks kind of familiar, Yes, I have the exact same cardigan in white. I just got it from Aritzia. I've had the white one for a couple of years now, and I find that it's such a staple in my wardrobe. The only thing missing is its black counterpart. So this year, I decided to give it a companion. 
Seriously though, I realize that I don't have that many cardigans, and a cardigan is an important layering piece, especially when it comes to winter time. It not only keeps you warm, but also makes your outfit look a lot more interesting, so I think it's a must-have. And I finally got myself a grey sweatsuit. Yup, this is a sign that I have officially given up. I think nothing is more sad than a grey sweatsuit. Grey is probably the most dull color out there. At least black is mysterious and white is pure. Grey is just bleh. And a grey sweatsuit? I don't think I need to explain any further. I'm basically a walking concrete column. Is there anything more invisible than that? And that's why I bought it. Sometimes I just want to disappear into thin air. And now I have an outfit for it. I got this set from Alo Yoga. Alo Yoga is such a cult favorite now. It's like the new cool girl in town. I don't know, maybe it'll make me look like a cool concrete column at the very least. That's it for clothes. Next up are these... <sighs> Chunky Soul black boots. Chunky Soul is so popular this year. I never got the appeal of Chunky Souls until I went to Florence this summer and I found myself wondering why my stylist friend always looks so stylish. Then she told me her secret. Chunky shoes. I was like, aha, uh -huh. I think I got it now. I got these boots from Brown's Shoes and I've been wearing them non-stop lately. They don't even look that new anymore. These boots are so incredibly comfortable. They're definitely my new favorite boots now. I also got these white boots from Brown's Shoes. When I said I'm really into whites this winter, I meant I'm really into whites. Maybe you think I'm crazy for wearing white boots in winter? Well, get this. These boots are waterproof. And I'm also using this snow protectant spray to protect them. I don't know if it'll work 100%, but I'm willing to take the risk. Let's see if I can keep them white. Oh, another thing I love about these boots, there's fleece lining inside, so it'll keep my feet super warm. If these are not the perfect winter white boots, I don't know what is. I'm sorry, it's only 4 p.m. and it's already getting dark. I feel like I'm always raising against time. Like, what is this? Anyways, I just ordered these Gentle Monster sunglasses on Farfetch. I actually first spotted them in New York back in June. I tried them on in my New York vlog, if any of you remembered, and I've been thinking about these sunglasses since. I think the rectangular shape goes really well with my baseball cap and my beanie, and they're made from Eastman's Eco Acetate, which makes it a more sustainable option. They are a bit pricey though, and after half a year of convincing myself I don't need these sunglasses, obviously I failed. And I'm in love with them. The rest are all winter accessories. I loaded up this winter, because like I told you, I freaked out. I just want to keep myself as warm as possible. I got this white cashmere scarf from Theory. Believe it or not, even though I live in a cold ass country, I only own two scarves. I have a black one that I got two years ago, and a Burberry check one that I got 10 years ago. You can clearly tell what's missing in the color palette. White. I like that this one is kind of wide, so I can wear it as a scarf or wrap it around me. It makes me feel cozy and safe. This scarf and I will spend a lot of time together this winter. Another winter accessory I got are these white gloves from UGG. These are not your regular white gloves. These are actually touchscreen compatible, which is the most important thing for me because I don't want to have to take off my gloves to play with my phone, are you kidding me? With all the white stuff I just got this winter, I needed a pair of white gloves to go with them. When I found these, I was like, ugh. These are just perfect. This part goes with my white puffer jacket, and this part goes with my white faux fur coat. Tell me they're not perfect. There's also fleece lining inside. It's literally like wearing Ugg boots, but on your hands. Okay, I've got another white winter accessory. I promise this is the last one. I only have one proper half a winter, and I just don't want to freeze my head off anymore. Since I already have a black wool beanie, naturally I would like to have a white one. I searched the entire internet for the perfect white wool beanie, and I found this one on Shopop. It's from a sustainable brand based in Portugal called Last. This beanie is basically the identical twin of my black beanie, except they're not actually related. And there you go, I have finally completed my white winter accessories collection. Alright, these are everything I got to survive Canadian winter. Now that I'm all geared up, hopefully I won't hate winter this much. With that being said, my winter capsule wardrobe for freezing cold is coming up, so stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Bye. It's hard to feel.